Welcome everyone. In this tutorial video, I'm going to talk to you about pear area of the liver. Before starting talking about the pear area of the liver, let me give you a quick review about the uh, surfaces of the liver. There is another video about surface of the liver, but I'm going to summarize it to you. You know, there are three surfaces for the liver. There is diaphragmatic surface, that we see here it's like anterior part and superior part and a little bit posterior part right this is the diaphragmatic surface now there is a second important surface which is the visceral surface or use this one okay this is the visceral surface of the liver which is against different structures and organs um, in the abdomen usually posterior inferiorly so this is the inferior or posterior inferior surface of the liver the third surface which is you know laterally and it's called right lateral surface or the pace of the liver if you consider it like a triangle okay there is the pace and here is the apex so this is just a quick summary but before finishing this uh, quick summary I want to show you this I mentioned that diaphragmatic surface is the anterior and superior that's under the diaphragm of course this is the diaphragm and a little bit the posterior uh, surface all of these uh, three parts um, represent the diaphragmatic surface so this area which is the posterior one, which is part of the diaphragmatic surface, I mean between the diaphragm and the liver, but posteriorly is the pear area of the liver. You see, there's no uh, peritoneum. It's not covered by peritoneum. You see, the peritoneum is reflected here. So this area against the diaphragm from the back, we have to remove the diaphragm to see right so this is a pear area this is what i'm going to talk about today so again this is the uh, posterior uh, this is anterior view for the posterior abdominal wall and you see this area where is, there is a reflection for peritoneum is called the this area is the pear area of the liver pear it means like when you say pear feet it means without shoes that means pear like not covered this is the uh, as a vocabulary right now we know that the liver is covered by a capsule right entirely even the pear area but also it's covered by um, peritoneum also except this area this area the pear area is not covered by peritoneum you see the peritoneum is reflected when it reached here, it's reflected, creating like an area without coverage, not covered by peritoneum. Okay. So, this area is the pear area of the liver, which is located posteriorly between the liver and the diaphragm. Right. So, just imagine guys you move this uh, you move this liver like here like you open a page in the box so the liver should be in this area almost like this okay so this area the pear area is here this is the pear area of the liver that not covered by peritoneum I will show you listen this is the uh, diaphragm you can follow it okay this is the diaphragm you know that the liver located inferior to the diaphragm now you can say okay show me the diaphragmatic surface of the liver okay this is the liver and this is the diaphragmatic surface of the liver the anterior one and the superior part and a little bit of posterior part this is the diaphragmatic surface of the liver now you will see here there is an area not covered by peritoneum not covered by uh, 
the yellow color so this is the pear area of the liver but wait um, you know that already I think let me show you the boundaries of this um, uh, area okay you know that the uh, peritoneum uh, lined the anterior abdominal uh, wall and also the diaphragm inferior surface of the diaphragm then at this point it's reflected back to cover the superior surface of the liver this is the liver this is the superior surface so the peritoneum reflected from the inferior surface of the diaphragm to become um, or to cover the superior surface of the liver see. anyway this point is a reflected peritoneal uh, or a point of reflection for peritoneum yeah the peritoneum reflected from the inner surface of diaphragm to the upper surface of liver this called anterior layer or some authority they called superior layer of coronary ligament where is that here okay here is the uh, anterior or superior layer of coronary ligament right okay now let us go inferiorly you will see again the peritoneum cover uh, different organs for example the kidney because we know the kidney is retroperitoneal structures I mean it's located behind the peritoneum and at this at this point the peritoneum again reflected to cover the inferior surface now of the liver right this reflection point posteriorly or posterior inferiorly posterior inferiorly is another reflection point for peritoneum which is called the posterior layer of coronary ligament or you can say inferior layer of coronary ligament so the peritoneum reflected up and reflected here below and this area um, becomes without coverage and it's against the diaphragm you see the diaphragm let me erase the stuff here so yeah it's clear that this area the pear area that's not covered by peritoneum is between the liver and the diaphragm so the boundaries uh, anteriorly or superiorly is the anterior layer of coronary ligament and uh, posteriorly or inferiorly the posterior layer of coronary ligament either the anterior or posterior layer of coronary ligament where is the posterior layer here we go this is the posterior layer of coronary ligament so this is anterior layer and this is posterior layer and here again this is anterior layer and this is posterior layer now the anterior layer and posterior layer of uh, coronary ligament you know meet laterally either on the right here or uh, on the left on the left here uh, creating a kind of a ligament that triangular shape this is right triangular ligament also here you can see the anterior layer and posterior layer unite to form this ligament either right triangular or left triangular ligaments now what about other structures um, not covered by peritoneum there is yes there are uh, structures like gallbladder gallbladder you know the groove for or the fossa for gallbladder is not covered uh, by peritoneum because of the existence of gallbladder okay also inferior vena cava you see not covered by peritoneum what else again here porta hepatis also this area which is the hilum of the liver not covered by peritoneum so we have uh, uh, until now three parts the fossa for gallbladder and porta hepatis or the hilum of the liver and inferior vena cava thank you for watching hope you find value in it
Thank you.